Welcome to the Retroactive MCU Review. I am your retroactive host, Mr. Boring. Iron Man is a 2008 superhero film directed by Jon Favreau and starring Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, a wealthy and brilliant inventor who builds a high-tech suit of armor to become a superhero. The film was critical and commercial success and kickstarted the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, which has since become one of the most successful film franchises in history. The film's opening scene sets the tone for the rest of the movie. Tony Stark is riding a military convoy in Afghanistan when the convoy is attacked by terrorists. Stark is captured and forced to build a weapon for the terrorists. But instead, he builds a suit of armor and he uses that to escape. This scene showcases the film fast-paced action and introduces us to the character of Tony Stark, who is witty, charismatic, and unapologetically arrogant. So as the plot goes, Tony returns to the US and refines his suit of armor, becoming the vigilante Iron Man. However, he soon realizes that his business partner Obadiah Stane is using Stark Industries' weapon to fuel terrorism. Tony faces off against Obadiah in an epic battle that ends with Iron Man emerging victorious. Uh, spoiler alert? Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. He perfectly captures the character's swagger and charm while also conveying his vulnerabilities and flaws. The film's supporting cast is equally strong, with Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts, Tony's loyal assistant, soon to become love interest, and Jeff Bridges as Obadiah Stane, Tony's business partner turned villain, which in days will turn into one of the lower ranking villains in the grand MCU. We also get to meet Agent Phil Coulson for the first time, a character which becomes the connective tissue across Phase 1 movies. And on a side note, I was a big fan of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It was a good show. The film's special effects are impressive, especially for 2008. In particular, all scenes involving the Iron Man suit, from its creation to its display of powers. The suit looks slick, and futuristic. It did justice to its comic counterpart. We see what the suit can do, and it looks amazing. One of the most significant implications of Iron Man on the MCU is that it establishes the Marvel formula and has become a stable of the franchise. The film combines action, humor, and heart, and sets up the larger world of the MCU. The idea of post-credit scenes is introduced in Iron Man, which has become a hallmark of Marvel movies. Additionally, this movie is where the legendary term Easter Eggs was coined, or at the very least was made extremely popular and important. Well, we all love Easter Eggs, so just to name a few, we see a replica of Captain America's shield in the background of Tony Stark's workshop. A team-up foreshadowing, perhaps? This was a subtle nod to the larger Marvel Universe and Captain America's eventual role in the MCU. As well as the highly memorable Nick Fury, played by Samuel L. Jackson, who appears and hints at the existence of a larger superhero universe with now the infamous end credit scene. Mr. Stark, you've become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Boom! This was a tease for what would potentially come next. Another easter egg highlight for me was the Ten Rings. The terrorist group that captures Tony Stark in the film is called the Ten Rings. This is a reference to the Mandarin, one of Iron Man's arch enemies in the comics, who has the Ten Rings of Power, which we see in full effect in Shang-Chi 13 years later. It's all connected. And also to a lesser degree, something I notice, this movie marks the string of Iron Man standalone movies where Tony doesn't really take down the baddie by himself, which is just a curious thought. We will probably revisit that as we review Iron Man 2 and 3 down the road, as in this case, it's Pepper with the assist. 
Iron Man grossed close to $600 million worldwide, which at the time was deemed highly positive and successful. No offense, Ant-Man. Overall, Iron Man is an entertaining and well-crafted superhero movie that launched a franchise that has since become a pop culture phenomenon. The success of Iron Man paved the way for future MCU films up to the climax of the Avengers. There could be only one first MCU movie, and Iron Man was it. Robert Downey Jr.'s standout performance as Tony Stark, thrilling action sequences, and impressive special effects all contribute to a movie that is both fun and significant in the context of the larger MCU. By defeating Stain, aka the Iron Monger, and taking accountability for his actions, Tony begins to develop a sense of responsibility and a desire to use his skills and resources to help others, setting the stage for his future adventures as Iron Man. The film ends with Tony's epic words, I am Iron Man, and the rest was history. So if you haven't seen it by now, which I doubt, what are you waiting for? Okay folks, so that's one down and plenty of MCU to go. Be sure to click the subscribe button and share your comments down below. I'll see you soon with more MCU review and other boring videos. Thank you, 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 thank you